Okay, Becky, what you looking at? I am observing my favorite insect, the honeybee. So you're one of them pollen nerds? <laughs> Calm down. I'm just kidding. They're my favorite pollinator, too. You know, I wish there was a way for us to explain pollination to the world. It's so important. Well, you know, we've got some cheese puffs in the lab, and I think we might be able to use those. That's a great idea. Let me guess. We're going to have to go to the lab? We are. To, to the, the lab! lab. everybody, we are at The Hive in STEM Lab at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And today on Real Science, we are going to do cheese puff pollination. So let's talk real quick about what pollination means. For plants to reproduce, they often have to have pollen move from one part of the plant to another. Now, this is accomplished by animals. They don't do it on purpose, but they're flying around like bees, butterflies, bats to try to get some nectar from deep inside the flower for food. And they naturally get some pollen grains rubbed off on their bodies. They go to another plant. That pollen falls off, fertilizes that plant, and boom, it can grow some seeds. If you are following along at home or in your classroom, here are the supplies that you are going to need. A large container like a bowl, gummy bears, a fake flower, and cheese puffs. It's time for us to get down to bees' nests and do some pollination. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is add gummy bears to our bowl. This bowl is going to be our flower, and we're going to pretend like we're zooming in so we can see all the pollen. The gummy bears are the nectar or the food that the bees are after. The cheese puffs are going to be the pollen itself. So we'll get that in there. Got a lot of pollen. Now it's time for us to be bees and find some nectar, digging in that pollen. Dig deep down, get oh, some of the nectar. Oh, I got some nectar. Oh wait, me too. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna put that in my nectar stomach. I'm covered wow. in pollen. Look at Lots this. of pollen. pollen over. I'm still hungry though. Let's go to another flower. Another flower. Here we All go. Right. Oh, I got some nectar. Right, me too. Me too. Mm, mm, more mm. nectar. Check out that flower. It's completely coated in pollen. It's been excellently pollinated. It's going to be able to grow seeds and reproduce for the next generation. Ooh! Wow! And remember, bees and other pollinators are important because they pollinate the plants that will become our food. I think it's time for us to buzz on out of here. <laughs> Join us next time on... Real, Real Science! Science. Thank you so much for watching. If you try this experiment, take a few photos and share them with us using this hashtag. We'd love to see what you came up with.